Okay, uh, last in the last class, what we saw is um, okay. We saw how to do ordering, I mean, how to sorting, how to do a grouping, and we started with a little bit of functions like you know, uh, greater than, greater minimum, like minimum, maximum, greater least. This is a function we saw. That. Today we look at the little bit of more function. The, what we saw yesterday we saw the least greatest. Okay. Now what is okay when you are looking at the function there are basically oracle has got a lot of function but basically we can divide them into three major groups one is the function which is related to numbers that is the minimum maximum uh, like you know average that kind of a function basically then the other of the function is which is basically related to strings or characters strings okay that basically how to like you know split the string join the string that kind of a uh, like you know substrings and all the stuff then there are certain things which is related to numbers basically number you can convert the number into a characters or adding a date into the number or finding a different days between a different days adding a month into that adding a number like you know adding a number of months like that kind of a function we do that we'll see a little bit of function what it is the maximum functions then like i'll give a link where you can go and see all the functions and like you can try yourself but try to do all the function once to understand what it is doing okay now we'll, the, the one of the main function in the string area is substring substring is basically getting a part of a string uh, basically what it is doing here is basically whatever string you are passing it where it starts and how many lengths you want it okay for example uh, i can say that substring what was the string name three to four so basically what it is going to do is it's going to start from three then it takes four character from that one two three four characters okay then the if you don't give the second parameter you take everything remaining this starts from the the third string okay if you have any other like if you are if you know java or anything they start with zero but in uh, sql it's always start with one okay so basically the first string is one one two three that is how it goes okay that is substring it does that i'll show you like you know how it is working then that the other thing the number thing you can see the round okay round basically what it is doing here is round is you round the number okay that we know we basically everybody knows that when you are rounding amount especially like a dollar or rupees you say round the like you know we always casually we do the round the amount am I right? basically either reduce the amount or go higher if it is more than the logic is if it is 5.5 or more it will be added to the next uh, full number is less than five it get into that the uh the, the what is it not i can't say the next the least number i mean that basically it is 5.5 it became six 5.3 it became five that's what what is truncate do is truncate whatever number is there you are going to get the only the full number even though it is a 5.8 if you are rounding 5.8 became of 51 if you are truncate 50.8 it became 50 it doesn't care even if you find 50.2 whatever is it give you that the full number the floor does the same thing truncate does that basically goes to the even ceiling is really opposite of floor ceiling what it does is always goes to the higher number even if it is 50.001 it goes to the next number that is it goes to the higher next higher full number okay the truncate and floor is almost same it goes to that the previous number that I'll show that then okay this too I'll show that how it works then we'll go to the uh, decay like now the other one My sequel. okay now we'll take a substring okay I will explain to you what, what is the use of dual last time so mostly we are going to use that dual only to explain the function we don't use the table okay substring a, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. I'm turning. Five, two. Okay. Three, two. Three. Okay. From 12. 
So basically it is starting from three level, adding, basically getting me three more strings. Okay, it is giving me C, D, E. Got it, then you can see that C, D, E. Basically starting the third character, giving me three length, I mean three more characters. If I say here five, it is going to give me, though there is no five character after that, it is going to give me C, D, E, F. Okay, in case if I don't give it here, still it is going to give me everything. Okay, but if I string this, if I do that, it's supposed to error, I believe. No, I don't. Okay, not enough argument. Okay, so basically you have to give a minimum argument where it starts. Then like if I give zero, what happened? Still is giving it, though there's no starting from one, zero and one is working the same thing. That is what the substring does. Now I'll explain what, what the round does. Like, you know, I'm basically, go for a round. Okay. okay, there is other 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 function also I can show though it is not in the list. I can say that to operating. Say like you know. It's basically a rapper. I probably is upper. Okay. okay. It can do that. Okay. Same way you can do a lower, basically, lower. Okay, I can say that x, 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 p, g, h, 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 okay, see. There are three uh, capitals and uh, like two capital and I put one more. Here I put something like that, okay. So do that. Okay. There's a something called init cap, okay. Example. So basically, what it is doing here is, is the first convert the first character into a. Okay, so I'm, I'm sure. Okay, if you look at here. T in is I I in it cap I so basically convert the convert the first character into a uh, like you know capitalize the first character. That's what it does. It there are many function on. Um, uh, okay, uh, string, you can look at this. I'll give the uh, link where you can look at that and like you can have a look at that. Okay, now I'll go to that, the, the second part of the number function, round and everything, how we round the number. Okay, if I'm rounding two by two, you can see that like, you know, truncate, all the three functions I'm explaining, how it looks like. Yeah. And we'll go one by one. Okay. Now what it is, I'm rounding with the two decimal. So it became 85, 84, six became 85, okay. Now this one I'm truncating it, though it is uh, truncate with the two decimal, truncate with the two decimal. So now it is uh, going to that 84, though the six that is more than five, it go end with 50.84, just it goes to the lower number, okay. Floor, floor is always goes to 50. The difference between truncate and decimal, though they are doing the same kind of a work. The difference between the uh, truncate is a truncate you can go with any decimal, like you can say second decimal, third decimal, fourth decimal. If you don't give a decimal, if you don't give a decimal floor and do, do the same thing. The floor basically go to the full number of the numbers given. The ceiling what it does is opposite of floor, it goes to the, the higher, number of the full number. Okay, now we'll go, I will I will do one by one. Okay. If I say here, three, so basically it is going to the sixth level. So in this case, my expectation is because it's lower, three is lower than a, a five, the number remains as cities, like eight, four, six, that's what return. Like now it is the previous number, that eight, four, six, three level is returns. So eight four six. That's what it's turning it. In case if I'm making it five, it will return seven because the 
like you know, six became seven. That is how we prove it. Okay. If we don't give anything here, then that is going to return me the full number that is 51 because the previous, the eight is higher than five. Okay, this is how that uh, round works. Okay, if I do the same operation with trunk, okay, right, I'll keep it as it is, then I'll, I'll explain it, okay, both example, okay. Leave it as it is that part. Now what is happening here is, if I truncate here, we second to take that 54, though the six it is doing here. If I do three here, you'll get four, six, like, you know, eight dot eight, four, six, that is what you are going to get it. Eight, four, six, that is what you are going to get it. Because truncate what it does is, it go to that decimal and use the full number. It doesn't do any conversion, just, uh, remove the number, that's what does it, okay? If I give the full one, okay? Okay, 50, 51, okay. That is the trunk it is doing, okay? Now I will go to the floor part. Floor is a step forward. It is basically take the, there's no additional parameter, okay? It just convert them into the full number into the lower number, whatever the lower number is. Okay, even if I do a three here, say that two here, still it, is, it doesn't make the same thing. Floor is the same thing. Okay, when you come to ceiling, Now the ceiling, what it does is, it goes to the upper side of it. That's the reason they call it ceiling. Okay, though it is that the two is lesser than five or anything, basically it gives you the 51. Okay, what it does, I give use 50. Okay, will it go 51? No, it won't go 51, because there is nothing to add. But if the full number is written as it is, 50. But the time if I add dot zero zero one, I expect it to go to 51, 51, go to the next level. Is this part is clear? Okay, there are many numbers. The other thing is, other thing you can also see that like, you know, there's a one, one a lot, okay, the, the other function which is used a lot is to get. Okay, now I say 50 or zero, zero, zero. What it does is, it converts the character into It will convert this one into um, a character. So basically, this is what the functional, like basically there's a lot of function available. Go and check it, what it is doing here is, that is a function. The same way you also have here a function on the date, like you convert the character into a date, you can do that, uh, see that how it is getting converted. Uh, and that uh, that is one of the important, like, you know, see that how the date is getting converted. You have to have additional parameter, you have to pass the format and all the stuff. Go and check it, okay? Uh, as much as possible, you can look at that. Uh, there are many function is there, but there are too many like advanced level, anal analytics and all this, so ignore that. Look at all the function from the number, look at all the function from the uh, character, uh, I mean string, look at all the function from the date. The minimum you need that, okay? Now, what we go for it is, okay, okay, okay. Round trunk, okay, round trunk, I explained what it is. Now I'll do that, what is NVL decode? Okay, NVL is what, when I, I said there is something called null. Okay, the NVL means null value, okay. What it is doing here is, if there is a, a field has got a null value, what we have to do with that? What do you want to replace with that? Okay. The only condition over here is, if this is the NVL, this is a string, null, the column is a string, then the return value also has to be string. The column is number, the replace value also has to be number. The, this is the date you are expecting to have, a, the same character has to be it. 
same number. You have to give it as a replacement column. The reason is a column can contain only one type of the value. If a column is a string, it has to have all the string, it's a number, number. So when you are selecting from the column, there may be a one column might be having a number. So if you are giving a string here, then there's a clash. So it cannot happen. So if you are doing NVL, the replacing num that value has to be belongs to the same type. Okay, that is a condition you have to understand. You have to keep it in mind. Okay, I'll explain you, what, like I'll show it in the um, SQL. Then there's some function called decode. Okay, there is something called like, you know, decode is something, I don't know, if you have any little bit of programming, you, the first thing they teach you with the condition is if else. Okay, if gender is M, call him boy. Else, call her girl. Or you can say, if you are, okay, if the, the question is, if you attend the class tomorrow, then say, thank you. Okay, if he, else, okay, if you don't attend the class, okay, bye. This kind of a things. If what, if, if the condition, okay, if the condition is meet, what to do? If the condition is not meeting, what do you do? That is the one of the thing. Okay, since SQL is a kind of a line command, you can't put this kind of a if, else, and all the stuff, you can't put that. What they came out with that is, for that there's a function called decode. Okay, the decode basically what it is, the, the, the syntax is, it is the first num the first value, basically a condition. It is, what is the condition is meeting it? Okay, if it is a, say that, um, uh, basically it's an expression, not a condition exactly. Okay, it's a first value. It is a conditional value, okay? And if the result is true, it returns the first one. If the result is fault, they call it default. The second one return, okay? This is what it is. Basically that the expression search make it if conditions. If condition is equal, there is not greater than less than nothing. It's the equal condition. If this is true, the first value return. If it is not true, the second value is return. Okay, I'll show it how that, that works. Okay, now I'll go here. Let's talk about show NBL. Okay, let's see what you look here, null value. Okay, the manager ID is null here. Okay, okay. what I can say is that wherever the manager ID is null, I want minus one has to be up here. That is what my this one is. Now I'm trying here is name. First name NBL manager ID. Okay, minus one manager ID from employees. See that. This two does not have a minus, so the minus one comes. Okay, you can call it a default value. Whatever is doing is a replaceable value. Basically, what it is doing is whenever it meet a null value, it is a minus one. This is what doing here. Okay, now let me see is there any other character value I can show you. Okay, let's see. Anything is there and there is no character value. I don't see anything here. And login. Oh, I don't think we don't have anything which is uh Any date is there? Data. No, we don't have a data. Okay, that is okay. okay. Now what I'll show here, if I, okay, that if, if I give a XXX, assume that what happens here. See, invalid number. So basically it says whatever, because the manager ID is a number, if I give a string, it says invalid number. This is what it is. 
okay the understanding is basically if if this column is this value is null you return this one and the return value is supposed to be the same as column type that's all you have to understand the nbr okay that's it okay this is minus one okay now we'll go to the decode part Uh, I'll give an explanation of the decode. I'll have a few conditions. I'll show you what is the decode is. Okay. What I'm telling here is the salary is, do we have salary? No value. Okay. The decode is, I explained to you, it is a if else condition. Whenever I'm like, okay, salary, salary, okay. We'll look at the same manager ID. Okay, now what we do here is manager ID. The manager ID is null, give me minus one or give me salary. Okay, this is what I can say that. So I'll show that, okay. Uh, now what is happening here is, I'll show you the value. Okay, if that first name is, name is, first name is Tilak. Okay, whenever you are comparing the string, it has to be exactly as it is. So you cannot change the case. I'm telling it is still at okay. I still at R. I'm telling here it is unknown. I still at unknown. Everything else is this is how you make the condition. Okay. The advantage here is I can put a if condition here also. I can say here. Okay, D code. So that function, here also you have to give a like, you know, the value, conditional value, and that uh, say that uh, the same thing, last name, okay, comma, conditional values, I say that uh, Michael, I say it A L. okay. Here, what it is coming out out of me is okay. Here also, select okay. Uh, else is what here also, don't know, don't know, okay. Not known, okay. I put okay. Now, what I'm expecting here is we'll go through the question. The first name is Tilak. Is true? Yes, it is true. Now it is going through the second condition. The last name is then is going to the second condition. Last name is Michael Tilak. Okay. Hey Tilak. But this is not known. So basically, here what is happening here is for me, it is going to say Tilak for, for everybody here. Okay. Is going to okay for everybody else. The first name, first name itself is going to not going to pass through for everybody else. So it is going to say that for me the same result you are going to get it. Okay, is going to now I put little differently. Well, okay. okay, last name is there are more than one. Uh, uh, Michael will be there. So I say Prasad. Prasad. Last name is Prasad. If the Prasad is true. First name is Yamini. Yamini. Hey. Yamini. Ni. Okay, the, the first name is not Yamini. So since the last name is Prasad, 
I say I family. Otherwise, I don't know. See the condition here. The last name is Prasad. Yes, this condition is meeting. This true record is meeting. The first uh, first name is Yamini. Out of these two, only this is meeting. Then what is happening here is for Yamini, I'm going to say hi Yamini. Here, this is a true record. I'm talking about. We are really talking about true record here. So the for Bindu says Prasad family. Everybody else is unknown. Okay. The same thing I can do for the else also. For, okay, one more, like now I'll do that. I'm bringing it down. Now, the same condition I can play it again with here. Say that if it is a, like, no, he could last name is still at. Okay. So then you say, the last name is Michael. Michael family. Family. They are something around here. Uh, okay, Tico, this is has to come. This is, this is not the R. No. We'll go on putting a condition and condition and condition. Okay. I just is coming. This is ending ending. Okay. Okay, see that, how it's working. For a Tilak, Michael, this is Michael family because the, the condition is meeting, the last name is meeting. That, okay. Basically the first, okay, the Prasad is not meeting. So it is, is going to the else condition, which is, the, again, it is going to this, is first condition is met, so unknown here. The Yamini case, it met the first time itself, met the first conditions, the first name, so Yamini. Because here, the first else is going there. Everywhere else it goes to the last name. This is how you can build it function within the function. The same thing with the, every other function. You can call the same function many times within that. Properly, like you meet all this index, everything. Okay, this is how the function works. If you come, I'll send it to you. It's coming here. The list has got all the functions. Basically, if you look at the functions, this is how the basically is the index and everything. Then say apps, absolutely value, uh, like you no know, ceiling. Is all mathematical numeric value, like you know, there will be a something called uh, uh, two string is the okay. the round is the and uh, ceiling was the mod is the okay. You can look at the, all the functions. Okay, now when you are coming to the character string function, is the character is the okay uh, can get init cap lower. Everything is there, okay. Trim, trim is basically like, you know, it trim the number. You can look at everything, the upper, upper is there. We talked about substring is there. R padding is padding a uh, right side. There will be a L pad will be also there. L pad is the L trim is there. So you can look at the function, okay. Now when you are coming to then forget about NLS and everything, then there will be a date time function, add months. Add, add a number to months. Basically, when you are adding a number, you add a months to months. If you say like, you know, uh, system date, my one, basically add a one month to the system date. What is the current date, current timestamp? You can look at all these things. It also has got explanation. When you go to the character, it tell you what it does and all the stuff. Like you return the character having a binary equivalent to a pair character. You say that how to use it. And uh, you look at that, you can get the example. Select car 67, car finders from dual. Okay, this is all good example. You can look at that, read that, uh, like you know, apply that. Just get an idea of what all the function is there. Okay, the next one we are going is please give attention that is very important of any database world. Okay, if you are playing with any database or any like you know, data, you have to understand what is the relations. Okay, so far we talked about one table, we are getting information from the one table. But the real world, it is not. It is a very complication. You have to have a multiple table. Even I've seen that easily, like, you know, more than a 10 table comes into one select statement. Okay. So that the relation is very important. But how the relation is defined? There are basic rules. I explained what it, what it is. 
uh, when you are basically the, the relation coming to the picture when you are defining the structure okay the relation also coming to the picture when you are selecting the data so you have to understand how the data is structured how the relation exists between the two table then only you can make a proper selection okay there are relation called one to many many to one it is opposite of this one okay one to one many to many this is the basic relation of the there is self, self relation it is not a real relation this is also false one to one but i'll explain you what is self relation is okay just understand one to many many to one one to one many to many okay further to that there is also say that like you no know, optional one to many like many to one optional one to one required one to one optional many to many here that is also i can explain you what is one to one please give attention if you have any question doubt please ask me because this is very important to understand this always helps you wherever you go okay now one to many relation basically what is one to many very like when i say this is a kind of example i am giving this is one side the left side is one many to them okay. when you are coming to the relation you can say mother to the child this is a one to many okay uh now you say that a mother can have a more than one child okay i'm talking about biological mother one to many child but when you are looking at from the child to mother a child can have only one mother so from looking at the mother's child mother side mother can have a multiple child okay when you are looking from the child every child can have only one biological mother you got what i'm trying to say here so from mother it is a one to many but when you are looking at the child many children can have only one mother this is what the the one to many explains okay from a from a mother side is she is only one person can have a more than one child okay when you are coming to business what i explain a person can have a many sales invoice something like that but one sales invoice belongs to only one customer okay you go to amazon or making any order i can raise multiple orders but when you are looking at the order from the order point of view your yeah, order can have only one customer thing that is kind of a business relations comes to that so this is what one to many 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 to one is the other other way around of one to many okay now one to one when you are coming to one to one now what is happening here is as of now there's no need for one to one unless there is some functional uh, the one to one was originally came into the picture for many reasons the one of the reason is in the beginning stage Uh, especially oracle does not support more than a certain number of columns as in i don't exactly remember uh, one time it was 50 one time it was 200 so basically nowadays almost there's no limitation nowadays so what happen is if you have a too many information for example you have a person information passport information driving license informations all the informations and you want to have his uh, like you know address you have too many informations then what happen you cannot store everything into one table Uh, what they did was they split the information into the multiple tables so all the all the table has got only one record for a person so it's a one to one relations okay here it says product and product descriptions so if there's a one product the commercial like you no know, the employee also can say person also that any information which is basically there could be only one okay one one information there is a more come more like you know the functional is i can say that for example uh, there are some security information so they don't they don't want to show the information to everybody so they can split that into a two different table one table is basically visible to everybody else other table they can put a kind of a security for example passport information or the security information they can split them into that sometimes they do it for a performance reason also because we do have to unnecessarily have to collect all the information every time so what i can do that i can split the table into a like you know 
in the multi two table one table where i can quite often i extract the information the one other information is once in a while i will do it so only for that purpose i go to that table so the many reason they can split the one information into multiple they can store it okay so there's a only one row exists of a particular object in a multiple table that's what one to one okay now i'll come to one to many now what happened is Okay, the same example I can I can give it like you know your books has got a this is a good example your books can be written by multiple other okay the same author can have multiple books so got it so both aside it looks multiple if you are looking at a mother and child mother can have mother can have mother can have a, i'm talking about biological mother okay the mother can have a multiple child but when you are looking at it from the child point she can have only only one biological mother she can't have a multiple biological mother but when you are looking at the, the books other example a book can be written by a book can be written by multiple other it can be more than one other can write a book same book okay yeah other can write multiple books Now what is happening here is in the database world they can't define the relation between two table directly. Okay, yeah, your, your book can okay one column can have only one one row can have only one relation. Yeah, other or a book can have only one other name. They can't have a multiple other name because when it is go unlimited other, there will be one too many. We one two three. We don't know how many others to are writing a book, so we don't know. So we can't have a relation. so what they do is they come out with the one intersection table a middle table they come out with other book they come out with the one intersection table so the book name will be book book table connected to other I mean, book book table connected to other book so here what they have is they will have a book information and the primary key and the book primary key will be here then there will be one more table called other that is also connected to this one so both of this one connected to one intersection table is it clear yeah you have to understand that this is how it is designed because there is a relation called multiple multi to multi many relation to many like many to many sorry there is a typo uh okay many to many cannot be defined in the table structure table the database world so the, the thing is they came out with the one more table in between to relate this to okay this is how it is designed is There's optional and required, okay. And the parent and child. There's a two kind of a weak always called parent and child is basically like the mother and you can say that a, a one parent can have multiple. So that the multiple we call it child. The only one information that is called uh, parent. And most of the time the relation exists in the parent table because there's a one to many. The 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 basically the relation exists means the ID where we keep the ID. The ID is kept in the a child table okay for example uh, when we are defining the job a job can be a job can have a multiple employee and the employee can have only one job so if that is a condition we create the job id in the employee table we didn't put the employee id into the we can't put that because employee there will be more than one employee so we can't do that so the relation always exists in the child level okay the definition definition exists in the child level okay now what is happening here is optional now there is certain condition um but the, the child should have it okay some condition child may not have it for example job id the job id has to be the so that called required relationship okay the manager id okay manager id is not necessary for all the employees the reason is for example directors and ceos they don't have a boss in the organization okay they themselves is a boss for example you can take ceo 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 is the top guy there's no manager for him so it's optional 
even for one person is option is optional so it is an optional relationship okay when you are coming to that uh, business level for example for a order the customer has to be there okay even if there is a cash there should be some kind of a customer will be there so the customer became a required column over there okay the required optional relationship that is how it is defined there is more relationship such exist it is a kind of a more functional if they make that foreign key as a required column that became a required required relationship if they make it as optional then it is it is non required is optional relationship so most of the time what they do here is they put a zero here it means zero to one and if they are defining a relationship they put a zero here most of the time when they define it, the right side of the child comes left side it is uh, is that the parent comes that is how it is designed okay now there is something called i like said that there is something called um, a self relationship okay self relations what happen a table related to itself that is called self relationship for example a uh, employee table manager id manager id is also employee so the the that the manager id related to the employee id you got what i'm trying to say so basically that is called the self relation the table related itself okay so keep it understand that there's a one to many many to one is the same thing many to many is the other side of it one to one that Function, uh, technically there is no need for that but functionally they come out with the need for that uh, then many to many okay most of the time what we are going to face here is one to many many to many okay that's all for today